everybody, it's Dr. Lori. I hope you're having an amazing day and I want to give you just a little bit of inspiration or motivation, if you will, for your day. One of the projects and one of the homework assignments that I would like each and every one of you to do, maybe today, maybe in the next day, and maybe just say you have a timeline of a week to do it, it, it does take a while, um, is to create a bucket list. So what the heck is a bucket list? If you lived under a rock, you probably wouldn't have heard about it. But most people actually have heard of a bucket list and have one created. First, if you want to be inspired and if you want to really understand what a bucket list is, watch the movie. It's called The Bucket List. And the movie should inspire you, motivate you. It is a lovely, lovely movie of friendship an inspiration of um, two patients who befriend each other that have cancer and really instead of live like you uh, were just living for that moment you live like you're dying and I think there's a the Tim McGraw song live like you are dying is one of my most favorite songs in the world and in that song it's, I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu. It's one of my favorite songs, I would start singing it, but I'm really not that great of a singer, so you don't want me to go there. So a bucket list. Do all the things that you want to do before you quote unquote kick the bucket. So get out a pen and paper or sit down on your computer and try to think of all the things that you would like to do in your lifetime before you kick the bucket. So just so that you can understand what my project looked like when I sat down to write my bucket list, a few years ago, I was really trying to find that place. I was in a rut. I wasn't enjoying my life very much. I just felt like I was doing the humdrum and going to work every day and not having much to look forward to. So what a bucket list will do for you is it's going to inspire you. It's going to make you want to achieve those things that are on your bucket list and try to get them in and save for them. You know, try to save for a rainy day so that you can get to those places. Don't wait until it's too late. Um, I had this discussion with a family member not long ago and, and sometimes if doctors give you a diagnosis and they say you have three months to live, we tell ourselves we have three months to live and we're actually sending a message to our body that we only have three months and sometimes people just go decide that, okay, I'm preparing myself for death, I'm going to get my affairs in order and I'm going to go home and clean the house and get things set up and make sure my spouse is taken care of. It's not like that. So... Really, if you were told you had three months to live, what would you want to do? Number one, you would want to tell yourself that, um, that it's not three months, obviously, that you um, don't have that type of sentence. But as far as what would you do if you knew you were dying? What would you do if you knew the date that which you were going to die? What type of things would you see? What would you do? Would you spend more time with your family? Would you travel to someplace exotic? Would you learn a new skill that you wanted to learn? Would you um, just get creative? So here's some of the things from my bucket list so you can understand or kind of get yourself started. Because of the movie, of course, I was inspired to go skydiving. I said, I want to go skydiving. This is on my bucket list of things to do. It's crazy. It's crazy to jump out of a plane. Who does that? Um, I did it. I was tandemly attached to one of the diving instructors. And it was terrifying. I have to tell you, terrifying and exhilarating at the same time. And so when you're free falling, it's just that, that rush and you feel it and you can't breathe. But the minute that they hit the chute and you go flying back up in the air and you have that just sense of calm and you are literally floating back to the ground. 
and you can see things that you didn't think that you could see, um, it's exhilarating. And I actually went back again a week later and did it again. But the second time I did it, we jumped out of the plane backwards instead of forwards. So bucket list, that's a bucket list thing. It's exciting. A bucket list thing for me also was to hone in more on my cooking skills and learn some techniques that I didn't know how to do. I always wanted to learn how to make creme brulee, so I was trying to master creme brulee. And, and I also had on my list that I wanted to go to Hawaii. And since then, since I wrote my bucket list, I actually worked for a company that, that was part of my territory. And for a while I was going to Hawaii four times a year. So I got to do that on my bucket list. Right now my bucket list has things like I want to go to Ireland and see some castles. Well, I'm going to Ireland in June. So this is, I'm living my bucket list. And what's even more fun is right now at this moment as I'm speaking to you, on my bucket list I said I wanted to do something I was passionate about, that I felt like I was giving something back that was going to ultimately help people and really do what my heart desires to be doing. And in the process, I started writing the book, Heal Yourself Beautiful. I decided to quit my job, take a chance, um, and do something that is my true bliss on my bucket list, obviously. So I could go on and on about my bucket list. What I'm encouraging you to do is grab your pen and paper and sit down. First, watch the movie. Um, if you've already seen it, watch it again. I own it. I watch it several times, especially when I feel like I need to be inspired. And so, watch the movie, get a pen and paper out, and sit down and start writing the things that you want to do. And don't wait until it's too late. Start checking boxes off and start doing those things right now. It is never too late to do the things that you love and that you're passionate about. So, bucket list, do it. Have a healthy and blessed day and I can't wait to see you come back again. So until then, love yourself.